Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to go through an example of solving a logarithmic equation. So we're basically going to solve this guy right here. And notice, yep, we got lots of logs in there. Now in order to do this, we want to somehow get a better hold of these x's, and both of them are trapped inside of logs. Well, if you're going to get rid of these logs, it might be a good idea to actually get them together into a single log. Now remember, there's a rule that says we're allowed to do this when you have two logs that are added. You can change it into a single log such that their insides are now multiplied. All right, so one single log. Now to get rid of this log, since there is no base specified, it's essentially a base 10. So we're going to use an exponent with a base of 10. So I'm taking 10, raising it to the power of the left side, and 10, raising it to the power of 2. That's 10 and the log, they'll take care of each other. And then on the other side, I just have to figure out what 10 squared is, so 100. Alright, looking pretty good. Now I have an equation that is not logarithmic. In fact, if I distribute my x here, I get an x squared minus 21x. It looks more quadratic now because of the x squared. Okay, so let's get that. 100 over here by subtracting 100 from both sides. And since it is quadratic, these are really good to solve, say, using factoring. So I know x times x will give me an x squared. What two numbers will multiply to give me 100, but add to be a negative 21. Hmm. I think a negative 25 and a positive 4 will do it. So negative 25 multiplied by 4, yep, that equals a negative 100. Let's see, when these add together, negative 21, all right, things are looking great. So I basically get two possible solutions. Either x is equal to 25 or x is equal to negative 4. Now, these are my solutions to the quadratic equation but they might not necessarily work for my original. In fact, there's a problem already with the x minus 4. This is because if you try and plug in a negative 4, you will end up with a negative in the logarithm. And logarithms are not defined for negative numbers. So let's go ahead and cross that guy out. Whew, gone. So 25. This we will keep as our solution. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.